Chi-Chi Monkey getting her some fresh grass. Chi-Chi's tummy is upset, I think. You're such a good girl, Chi-Chi. Yeah, she ain't feeling so hot. Alright, we're gonna leave Chi-Chi alone. I was walking past these things and noticed because I just picked a whole bunch off of these just the other day. Let's get that off there. It doesn't need to persist. There we go. Look at this down there. Yeah, look at that. There's that lovely, lovely pineapple doing really well. Some dragon fruits that are starting to grow pretty good, and the wisteria is doing awesome again. Some of the wood ash sweetened the soil back up, and it took off like crazy. A little strawberry in there, not getting enough sun, gonna have to move that. And then this tomato plant here, as you can see, has flowers all over it, and tomatoes everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, look at that. Look at all those tomatoes. This is the third generation I grew from some Roman tomato seeds from the grocery store. All of the tomatoes I grew from those seeds have been fantastic. Look at the pineapple up in there, just happy as it could be. Yeah, that one's starting to grow pretty good. We got this one. That pineapple's doing very well. Ooh, look at big in here. Look at that. That one's doing awesome. That one's doing fantastic. So this one's second pineapple right here. This one's third. This one's second. This one's on its fourth, and that one's on its fifth. So that's how many pineapples they've put out. Those guys will probably be putting one out this year, there in the back. And then we got this beautiful baby pineapple right here. Look at that. They're just gorgeous. And they all have their particular little weeds that grow around them. And uh, for the most part, I let them. When they get too big, I just pull them out of the ground and lay them down next to them. There's a tomato plant back there that I stuck in the ground, I don't know, last week sometime. It's growing good. It'll be all over all these pineapples here. Hey, Rome. You joining us today? You joining us today? You gonna go squirtling? Go ahead, buddy. You can go see. Go ahead. It's all right. He's got a spot over there that he loves. Oh, there's a tomato plant right there. I'll put that in, I don't even know when. I just went around with some scraggly tomato plants that were not doing well in their starter bin that I started them in, and they've just been in there too long leggy and stuff so I planted them all around that's actually two tomato plants right there yep two of them they're doing very well and that's where the AC drips so I always make use of those spots the hibiscus that was covered in aphids is doing fantastic because as you can see we've got some different kind of bugs now there's a grasshopper it's over there doing something, but the aphid problem is gone. And all I did was take a water hose and spray them off when I'd see them all over something. And if I saw a ladybug or any predator bug, I didn't mess with them. And when I found a predator bug that wasn't doing anything that I wanted to get on the aphids, I would take it over to the aphids. So, yeah. Super simple way to do it. Oh, this one's flowering. We're gonna have some papayas. Yay! The ones we grew last year were almost ready to pick. And then freeze, freeze, freeze. There's a good spot over here. He's on something. 
It's about to get something. I have no idea. Definitely on on something he's going after. What was it, buddy? What's in there? I don't know what it was, but he was stalking the crap out of it. Hmm. You should get that lizard. the papaya tree again. <clears throat> the asparagus not doing so hot, but it is still there. We've got the, I think this is a sweet pepper. And that is the goji berry looking better than it ever has in its life. So we let it push it all the way down. There we go. Yeah, that goji berries never looked that good ever. And there's the rose bush. Got all our citrus trees in need of some nitrogen. Look at that marvelous, marvelous pomegranate. I've got to snip all these lowers off so it'll push all the energy up here. And I'm going to do that today. Um, here are Visa's dragon fruits. Yep. Look at those magnificent things. Holy crap. They're six inches long. They were little nubbies the other day. Holy crap. Man, she can grow the shit out of these things. Wow, there's a little tomato on that scraggly bush that's like a year and a half old. It's over a year old. Look at that. Look at that scraggle mater on that dead. It ripened it. Is that not crazy? This thing's dead as a doornail, folks. But that tomato sat there and ripened. Yep, nature loves, 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 loves all of us. Just pull up the little grasses before they get big because their root systems will get monstrous. Like that one already is starting to. Look at that. Okay, just lay that over here. Big. It's gonna come out 
There we go. Yeah, all the dragon fruit are doing awesome. Let's go ahead and get these before they do that. I am going to figure out a companion plant. They, they love this stuff, so you got to stay on top of water and that. Man, look at that. My video from last week, those things were this big. They were little nubs. Oh, and they're still not liking being there. The base is rotting, so she's going to do something about that. We're going to figure out why that keeps happening to that plant. And uh, these are getting big. I'm going to have to build the tops pretty soon. I've got to build this one. This one's going to need two frames. And then they're all going to need them eventually. So we'll have to get some 4x4s out here and make that happen. Again, look at that. These things are so tough. This one came up from seed, so it's gonna be a beast. Gonna be a beast. That rose is gonna be awesome. Oh man, that thing just tickles me to death. Over here, what I've got to do today is uh, I flip this bathtub. It's been laying face down over here for quite a while. I forgot to set up a camera to get this from start to finish, so uh, this is going to be the worm bed. And uh, my wife's front yard is going to get cleaned the fuck up. <laughs> I got to get that moved somewhere. I got a bunch of things I got to move and get done. But that'll all be over on Miller's Custom Stuff. Um, this thing is going to be an earthworm bed probably by this afternoon so I'll be doing that I got a couple projects for that and that um, yeah I brand new wheels on this thing it was given to me with that the rest of it is beat to hell but that axle's still in good shape um, I'm gonna get a couple of heavier springs and uh, revamp this trailer a little bit for things around here but yeah, y'all, that's what's going on in the front yard. I still got a fix a piece of truck from the incident on 95. Look at these. Look at all these roses that have been on here. This thing just makes crazy, crazy amounts of roses. It's insane. I've, I've... I don't know that I've ever seen one flower more than this. I'm going to drop them there. That was stupid. There we go. There go in there. All that energy for that little flower pot gets right back in. Notice I don't take the ones off that still have petals or any yellow. That is so... Like this one, I guarantee you the bees will still sit on that one. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is the rootstock rose out of this bush we got from Tractor Supply. Look how crazy. People tell me that there's no way that these rose bushes produced 25 feet that had to be cut off to keep them at about this height. I think I was keeping them right at a little over five feet tall, so almost my height. And just a little shorter than me. So there's probably between five and five two. So this bush here, that one there, and this one. But this one and that one, I cut over 25 feet off of both of those rose bushes. This one was insane. It would grow up over all of this and I would be cutting off like 10, 12 feet at a time did that several times last year to these bushes and uh it was crazy how much they grew so i'm trying to document how much they're growing 
you know, pretty much every week just to show these things are not, they grow, they grow crazy. I'm going to go ahead and pop that one off. I'm going to go ahead and pop that one off. Those leaves right there. Don't ever leave funky leaves on your plant. You don't want that stuff to spread. Like that one. So, pow, there we go. Don't. Yeah, I usually burn it, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and get some off of these. I'll stick this right here. Yeah, look at how many roses are on this bush, y'all. And these are big mini petal count <laughs> yeah they're they're just awesome this bush I, along with putting off over 20 feet of length I couldn't even count the roses that were on it I really couldn't couldn't even tell you how many there actually were I'll go ahead and take that one these are kind of heavy on this thing so I'm gonna come off. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. Yeah, this this bush just goes nuts. It goes nuts. It's it's crazy. So yeah, <laughs> and this one will absolutely just go nuts too. I am gonna take a couple of these off the rootstock because I want it to start pumping out some growth. Them later, yeah. And this rose bush, I got to put it in a bigger pot, but it makes I mean, insane amount of flowers all the time, all the time, all the time. It is about to start popping off like that one, it's in the same size pot. It just pops off so many flowers, it's crazy, just truly crazy. I'll put the uh, flower balls back in there, but not the leaves. Let's put these back on the plants, but not those bad leaves. Always put your flower balls, especially these round ones. The round ones, to my knowledge, is where the seeds are kept. So what I do is I just kind of, let's put them in this one. I just kind of put them in there and feed them back to the plant. But that is where the seeds are. If the seeds dry out and grow, they do, then that's how they go. So, yeah, that's the roses, and we've got a little stuff around the tree. We've actually planted some dragon fruits here to crawl up the pine tree. I'm only, I only let this vine get that high. I've never let it get higher than that. Our bogavillas are blooming. Look at this. Y'all, bogavillas have some of the most incredible flowers. I mean, they're just brilliant to look at. I need to bring a blower over here and blow some of this crap off of it. Of course you have to have aloe. Over there's some more dragon fruit. And this, I don't know what that is. If it's a lily or iris, I'm not sure, but I love that plant. That is a fantastic flower. So yeah, just a few heathers and then rosebush over here in the pot and a few things over here. Just mint and the mint's actually starting to do really well. It'll crawl all over the place. And we're back to the tomato plant we started with. Right there in the pineapples. This is another flower that just blooms like crazy. I'm gonna take that one off. This thing will have so many flowers on it. You can see there's three more blooms there. This one's just starting to open. I love these flowers. Not everybody likes the lower petal count roses, but I just love them. They can make so many of them. It's crazy. This thing just flares up with that pretty, pretty color right there. Love it. Right on, y'all. Well, that's our little go around the front garden today. I'm um, sorry I didn't go over to the far side over there, but it's doing really well. And, uh, y'all have a fantastic day you grow what you love and you'll love what grows <laughs>